So as your React application grows, you're gonna be making more and more components. And you're gonna split these up into different files. So we're gonna talk about how you can do that and how you can import and export these components when separated into their own files. Because a good rule of thumb is you wanna have about one component in each file. So we're gonna split off body and header into their own files. So in source, I'm gonna create a new folder called components. And I'm gonna create a body.js which I'm gonna put the body in. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the header. And let's put the header in there. And we can remove them from this page now. So we're using the logo with the header, so I'm gonna to have to import that over here. And now logo is coming from the uh, directory right here and we're inside of components so we have to go up a directory and then that's where our logo is. Um, the other thing is uh, over here in both in both of these guys we're using JSX. We're using JSX here and we're using JSX here. So whenever we are using JSX we need to import React. So import React from React and we need to do the same thing in our body. So even though we don't use the keyword react anywhere in here. We're using JSX, so that means we need to import react. And I'll show you the error you get if you don't do that. Um, the other thing is in our class over here, we're using component. So we can either say uh, up here in our import, we can say component. But what I like to do is um, instead of that, just import react and I'll say react.component. So both of those are equivalent, um, but in this case now I'm only importing one thing. It's not really a big difference, it's merely preference. Um, all right, the next thing is to be able to import this in another file, I need to export it. So I'm going to, uh, down here, say export default header. So that's gonna export our header right here. Um, and now I'm gonna do the same with the body. So export default body. So this is the first type of export we're going to talk about and this is a default export. So to import something that is exported like that, I'm going to say import and then give it a name. So I'm going to call it body and we're going to get that from slash components slash body. And then I can do the same thing for the header and give that a save. And we can see nothing has visually changed but now our project is just split up into different files now. Now, I wanna show you the error that you get if you do not import React. So if we don't import React, um, you get the error must be in a scope when using JSX. So we're using JSX here, so you need to be importing React even though we don't use React anywhere in the code here, or at least use this keyword. All right, so that is how the export default works. Um, and the other thing about it is you can name it uh, anything you want. So I can call this my header if I want to, and it'll still work. It knows what to export because we are only exporting one thing here, the header. And with export default, you can only export one thing. So if I wanted to export more than one thing from a file, I'll have to use a different type of export, which is called a named export, which we're gonna talk about in a second. The other thing is I don't commonly actually export default like this below. Um, a shorthand for this is I can actually just up here say export default. So same thing. Um, but it's I like having it right here next to the class name instead of down there. Uh, similar thing that you can do with the body. You can't just say export default like that. Um, it doesn't like it. But what you can do is you can export default to just a function. So I can get rid of the const body here. And now I'm exporting or export defaulting this entire function right here. Um, and it works entirely the same. So the only difference is we're not calling this thing Bob, or sorry, not Bob, body. Uh, all right, so that is how export default works. And again, you can name it whatever you want. But let's say we want to export more than one thing. So I'm gonna say export um, body const body two. And this is going to be a second body, which is just gonna have a div and it says hi. So this body too, I can now export um, from my app.js or import my app.js by saying comma and then using the name. So here I have to say body too. And now I can render my body too here if I want to. 
So you'll notice a difference with this. So now I have to use curly braces around it and I have to use the exact name. So if I called this something else, it wouldn't work. And the reason for that is we're exporting the name body2. So I can only import body2, I can't do anything else. Um, and so I can do the same thing with the class over here. So instead of saying export default, I can say export class header. And now my code breaks over here because I was using my header. So instead of doing that, I have to do curly braces. And now I'm gonna say header because that's the name of the class that I gave. And so I need to use header here. And so I can now export multiple things. So I'm gonna say export const body is equal to this and export const body two is equal to that. So now my app.js, I have to bring both of them in here. So these are both named exports, body and body two. And I now have them in my curly braces and you have to use the exact names here because that's what we're exporting over there. And so for each export, we can import it by just putting the name. So another named export, right? So you can just, whatever you name it over there and export it, you import it with the same name over here. And you can do that as much as you want. So now you may be asking, should you use an export default or should you be using export like we are right here? So this is something that really just comes down to preference and depends on what project you're working on. I actually tend to say export class header like this, and it's only for one reason, and that's for auto completion. So if I were to delete this header here, um, it's not gonna like it, right? Because we're using header right here. Um, but if I have my cursor right here and I hit control space, I can actually see the different headers um, that are in my project or some auto-completion I can do. Um, and one of the options it says to auto-complete from that. And uh, I guess we can expand it and we can see it's coming from the exact class we want. So if I were to click on that, you'll notice it adds import to the top here. And we can do that again. Uh, I quickly just do it, I go like that and I hit enter and bam, we can see it adds it right there. So I do that a lot when I'm coding. So I prefer to use exports like that, these named exports, because it's easier for the auto completion to find. So if I do export default, I'm not sure if it still will be able to find it. I think it usually can, but it's sometimes harder. So here it's able to find it okay, so that's perfect. Um, so both work, it just depends on which you prefer and maybe what your project. So if you're working on a project, they might have a preference of what you use. Um, and then of course, you're gonna have to use named exports if you wanna export multiple components from a single file. Uh, or again, you can mix it like you saw before. So this can be an export default and that can be a named export and we can have as many as we want down here still. So now I have body three. And then in my app.js, I can import all of those. So I can say body three and then body. And this is gonna be my export default that we use there. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to exports and imports uh, with React. So usually we're now gonna be splitting up our components into their own files, and then we're gonna import them um, and use them. And then you'll probably see me doing auto completion to import things um, like I was showing you today. So oftentimes I'll, I'll usually just be like header and you'll see it already pops up. I'll hit enter and I'll add that and I'll just write my component. So I recommend doing that. And that's one of the nice things about Visual Studio Code. It has that nice auto completion for you.